Welcome back everyone. Today we are going out to County Materials to pick up some samples for some customers and then we are going to be putting the cage back dray kit on the cage plow. Now as you guys can see and if you've been following along there is literally no snow here and it is miserable so we are working on some designs and stuff like that which it's actually been kind of nice um, for the landscape side of things. I feel like you know the fall kind of never ended. People are still planning their projects for um, next season here so it's kind of nice because I've got like four or five designs we're working on so that's good although some snow would be nice because I spent all this money on a plow truck and uh, like to get out there and go plowing so I'll shut up let's get on the road and let's get out to county materials Forklift Nate's our guy. Thanks for the help. Here's Forklift Nate. Alright guys, so we just picked up the uh, samples. We only got two pavers. The clients wanted to see a couple more samples of some different pavers. But what's your guys' favorite hardscape manufacturer? Who's your favorite materials manufacturer? Um, curious, we do a lot of county materials and uh, we do a lot of Bell Garden materials. Those are kind of our two go-tos. But what do you guys use most often? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so we just got back. Let's jump in the case here and let's go get the cage plow. It's sitting outside the shop, so we're gonna grab that and uh, pull her inside. Then we're gonna get out of here putting the uh, the back drag kit on from Cage. Huge startup process here to start this thing. Alright guys, so if you want to purchase a set of these at any time, go down in the description below. Um, I've got Cage's website up there and you guys can order them directly from there, otherwise you can talk to your dealer, they can get a hold of them too. So that's the two ways you guys can get these things. Go check them out. Alright, so here's the kit they sent me here. Minor mishap though, we're too short of these guys. So we're going up to Cage Innovation next week, so I'm just going to pick up two more of them anyways. Not a big deal at all. Um, Here's the hardware kit that comes with it, new bolts. Basically what happens is you take these guys right here. They go on your cutting edge. We'll set that down. And they go on right there just like that. And then depending on the wear on your cutting edge, you can see that this one has got a little bit more, um, the cutting edge has got more wear than what this allows for adjustment. So we might have to grind a little bit off the bottom. But ideally when the cutting edge is brand new, you can pivot this down or whatever, slide it around in these slots. Your bolts go in here and then those plates go over the top of it here to kind of lock it in place. So we're going to take these old ones off and we're going to start uh, installing these on here. Going to need an impact. Impact. Wow, 
so from the rust, um, you know, because obviously plow, plow rig, uh, these got just like a little swelled up, so I just had to hit it in with a ball peen hammer, just kind of bumped it in there, so should hold now. So here's what we're gonna do for now, because like I was saying, um, they sent these out to me. Let me zoom you out here so you're not looking so close at my face. They sent these out to me uh, for free, and uh, so huge thanks to those guys there, but um, they must not have, they sent a weird box, whatever, you know, I'm sure they didn't do the full shebang for packaging, but they, we didn't grab uh, the other two for the other side, so what I'm gonna do for now is just put one on each side, and like I said, I'm going up to Cage Innovation next week. So if you guys wanna see the video on going to Cage Innovation, Make sure you stay tuned, hit that subscribe button because next Tuesday we're going up there. Um, but I'm going to grab two more of these while I'm up there and put them on. So I'm going to use this one to get the other side on just so it's on there for now. We don't have any snow in the forecast anyways, so I'm sure it should be fine. Yeah, I know I'm probably going to get a bunch of hate for walking by this thing with it up in the air, but... You gotta do what you gotta do when you're doing it by yourself. I don't think I'm ever gonna attempt to take off rusted plow parts without one of these again. Heck of a lot easier. We'll go around. Alright, so that should hold them on for now. It's obviously it's a super easy install. Like you, all you need is a socket. You can just use one wrench, one size wrench. What are we at? Seven eighths? I think we're seven eighths. Fifteen sixteenths. All you need is a fifteen sixteenths to do this. You could do this on site. You don't need to bring this back to your shop or anything like that. Um, it's obviously easier if you got that to do it with, but it's gonna be done on site. So super simple upgrade. You can see here, obviously, we've got quite a ways here because of our cutting edge. Um, but here's the deal, guys. So, basically, you can see right now, because I've got one side tight and not the other side, it's pulling a little crooked on it. But what this is going to do is any snow up to this point that you're back dragging from somewhere is going to help contain that. And then what's going to happen is when you go up against a curb, when you've got this thing angled, the curb's going to come along here, you know, at an angle like this. And this is also going to hit the curb, bend a little bit, and it's going to help push any snow you got up above that curb to expose your curbs. I know I was at a, I was at a state plowing job or a, a mandatory site visit for a plowing job two, three weeks ago, something like that. Yeah, three weeks ago. And they said one of the guys there that was doing another site was getting more or less yelled at, whatever, you know. Um, that one of the other sites he was doing for the state, there wasn't curb to curb, clean curbs. 
and they had asphalt curbs. So he was saying there's no way we can get curb to curb because it's an asphalt curb. How can we have exposed clean curb on an asphalt curb when we've got like a Komatsu WA300 in their wheel loader? It's going to just rip the curb right off. Well with this, you're going to be able to get a lot closer. You've got a rubber edge here and when you're at full angle with this thing, you know what? Let's just jump in the machine and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Guys, if you want to have some snow here so we can go plowing and make some plowing videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button because I'm telling you what, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason we don't have snow. Whoa, the old winter tires. All right, I forgot. We're gonna have to connect the hydraulics. I never connected the hydraulics. All right. So you can see these cages, um, I mean, I don't know. I'd have, these cage and the Arctic sectionals are the only plows I've really ran, so. But these cages do turn pretty far. You can get a pretty aggressive angle. So what I'm talking about here is this. You can see we've got a bit of an asphalt curb here. You can see it right there. When we're plowing, going along a curb, see our front edge? We're right down to the curb, right? We can't get any closer to that curb without gouging the curb. So the snow that rolls back, wants to roll around, is gonna hit this, cause see how that's bent? It's putting pressure up against it. You're gonna get a clean scrape along this curb and this snow is gonna get flicked up here a little bit more. So, you know, in a situation where the other gentleman was in that I was, that was getting, uh, you know, hearing, hearing it from the state, you can see having a cage plow, he wouldn't have ever, uh, you know, he wouldn't have gotten in trouble or whatever. He wouldn't have had to spend the time and money to go back out there and redo it. So just that right there alone is gonna make these and this cage system totally worth it. So, and I'm just gonna say right now, no, not sponsored in any way by cage plows, not affiliated with them. Um, they're just a local company. We've had this plow for I don't know, probably four or five years or something like that. We've had this plow for a long time. So, I, we just love it. It's a great plow. And they sent these out to me, and I can see where having these on here is going to be a huge benefit. You can see when we're back dragging snow, which I wish we had some. We'll see if we can find some, but you can see it's going to be a huge benefit having that on there. All right, guys, like I was saying earlier, um, this is not a sponsor video, really. They sent me these out to put them on and make a video on but not paid in any way to do this. So I uh, just want to let you know that this is honestly my totally honest opinion on these. At first, I thought they were, you know, maybe a little gimmicky. Like they don't look that big. They don't look that heavy duty. Um, you know, really how well are they going to work? So after installing them though, and then after going on their website and learning that they're good for curbs, like we just showed you in the video, um, I'm telling you, this thing is great. Because like I was telling you in the story there with the, uh, the gentleman that had to go back and clean up everything and he had to get super close to these asphalt curbs. And if he wrecks one of the asphalt curbs, he's responsible for them and has to fix them in the spring. And that's how a lot of state contracts are. They're super picky, they're super tedious. And if you guys wanna get into any big commercial snow plowing, you gotta be super picky and super tedious like that. And having those on there is gonna help big time if you're near asphalt curbs or curbs of any kind in that general. And it's gonna help do way less uh, damage to any curbs and keep it a lot cleaner. All right, other news flash. Tried driving with them to wear them down. Doesn't work. So, we're just gonna run them like that for now. We've obviously gotta get that other piece. And once we get that other piece back on there, um, I'll show you guys on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram or Snapchat, make sure you do that. All those links are down below. But once we, uh, once we get those on there, I'll show you when we get that. This thing's gonna be slick. This thing's gonna be freaking awesome. So. That's gonna be pretty much it for this video, guys. That's gonna conclude our day. I gotta get into the office. I gotta start doing some design work. Um, snow, snow, so let's just start landscaping again, you know, mid-January, might as well, so. Um, yeah, if you guys like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you guys are interested in checking out these cage plows and you want a set of these uh, back drake kits, link in the description below to their website. You guys can go there and buy them. Otherwise, just go to your dealer, you can buy them there too. So, great system, would highly recommend them.